boat ride from Seoul over to Bohol, Philippines, looking for the famed Stimbolt Fair bourbon. I'm trying to find it. I don't have a name for it just yet, but I'll find it. I uh, traveled out to a region in the Philippines known as Bohol. I uh, came here by boat looking for the famed whiskey bourbon treasure I have yet to find. But just check out this beautiful view out here. It's absolutely amazing. Hey guys, it's Roman again with the Bourbon Beats. Another quick update, I have jumped into an enchanted forest to speak to a magical python to see if uh, he will divulge the information to the secret bourbon that I'm trying to find around here. I'll keep you guys posted. Where's the bourbon? <laughs> Where's the secret bourbon? Over there, he said over there. Where's the secret bourbon? So after visiting the magic snake, he pointed to his left and told me that the magical bourbon that I'm looking for is over there. So now I shall travel over there and keep you guys posted. So I spoke with some locals and they told me that I have to go seek a magic turtle uh, out in the ocean somewhere. So I will keep you guys posted and find out where this uh, magic bourbon is at. Peace. So after communicating with the magic turtle, it's telling me to go around the bend of the island and go to a magic waterfall, where hopefully it will tell me telepathically where to find the magic bourbon that's so hard to find in the Philippines. Oh, magic waterfall. Reveal to me the secret bourbon location that I shall buy. What's up, everybody? This is Lou from Bourbon Beats. And I am Roman from Bourbon Beats. Can I say it like that, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, guys, so today we have another exciting episode for you where I have come back from the Philippines with this bottle right here. This is the Jack Daniels Red Dog Saloon. Lou? Well, the Red Ooh. Dog Saloon is a Jack Daniels anniversary bottle. It's 125th year anniversary from when Jack Daniels first opened his Red Dog Saloon in Lynchburg, mm -hmm. Tennessee. Yes. Yeah. So the cool thing about it is I never saw this here. Yeah, never did. I never even nope. heard of it. No, and I go to yeah. the Philippines and I was trying to find a bourbon. Bad news is Filipinos don't like American bourbon. They love yeah. Irish whiskeys and they love scotches. <laughs> They're all over the place. But all I could find was Jack Daniels everywhere. Yeah. He, and uh, he, he went and asked like the old wise turtle and the sly snake and all that stuff and the mystical yeah, arts of could whatever. Not find and, it. Yeah. You know, but, but you know, it, it is what it is, yeah. you know, but I'm excited about this one. Now, you may be wondering why it's open and why it's a little bit... Lou, what happened Yeah. Well, Jack Downs came back from his grave and <laughs> took a little taste last night because yep. something mystical happened. <laughs> yes, and we have no idea. We actually recorded this episode already. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we went to go see the video, the camera stopped recording four minutes into that video. Yeah. And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be sh we did two videos yesterday yeah, and, and they both stopped they at like both four stopped. minutes something seconds. So I have no idea what happened. We're back. <laughs> so we're back to review this again and just imagine it's fresh in our yeah. minds too. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, and before we begin, please mm -hmm. like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Let's smell it. <sighs> I'm getting that traditional Jack Daniels, you know, yep. old number seven old black number seven. Uh, essence in there. It, it's it's when we uh, did this yesterday, mm -hmm. I didn't say it, but like, I I smell a good oomph of that. You yes, know? it's not number bad seven. or anything like that. It's just, but it's just more refined. This is coming in yeah. at forty three percent alcohol. I, so I, 86 proof. I feel like you, you get that old number seven, 
plus a good it's just a, um like more mature yeah you know more mature it, 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 it smells good it smells better you smell a little bit more honey in there um and I, some, some oak i get a little bit of cherry just like mm. yesterday yep. so i i don't know where that comes from with this red dot yeah. so on the taste it tastes like a more i would say a more modern version of what, yeah old number seven you know like today's version even though this is like 27 80, 80 years old <laughs> <laughs> 84 years old yeah but i mean you get the you, you get all the characteristics of the old number seven mm -hmm. plus you get some additional benefits yeah. i get the cherry mm -hmm. i get that more maple mm -hmm. um the only issue with it is that it's running light yeah it's like it's like i already put water in a, in a high proof yeah the one thing i have to say is I, I like the finish on this one uh, rather than the old number seven. Yeah, as like <laughs> the, the finish and the aftertaste on that one is horrible. It's, it's, yeah. it's really really bad. We'll drink it all day long and get messed up and get tanked, and then wake up the next day with regrets. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, this one is actually enjoyable. I wish yes. we had this when we're partying in our twenties. Oh, 20s with coke and everything. Yeah, some twenties. He's has, he's got a different version of coke in his mind. He's he's an eighties baby. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know this. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Anyways, <laughs> going back to it, the issue with this that I have so far is that it just tastes like someone added a tablespoon of water into a whiskey, and then it's just mm -hmm. the flavors just instantly mm -hmm. they're gone. Yeah. And it, it's it's like, it's very refreshing. It's it's kind of weird. A yeah. bourbon's not refreshing. A whiskey's not refreshing, but this tastes refreshing like mm -hmm. i just added some water in there yeah. like I, I like putting it on the rocks yeah. and you know? how some people you know talk about like uh lighter whiskeys like lighter bourbons this is that perfect you know summertime hot day whiskey it, yes it, it's good like that because it, it, it feels like you're just drinking water mm -hmm. somewhat flavored yeah. water um, you have a little bit of a burn but for a beginner this would be fantastic you know i do have to say like if you went into a saloon and drank this it looks cool yeah. and it looks awesome. The bottle looks but amazing. But if like a cowboy went up in there and drank this, he would look at you and go, what the hell kind of horse shit is this? <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us down to the scoring. I'm actually going to go down from what I said in my in the original video that I didn't record. Okay. I'm going to go 5.5 instead of 6. So it's okay. It's yeah. a little bit better than okay. But, yeah. but it's not good. It's I'm not right okay. there with you on this one. Yeah, yeah 5. it's 5. about 5-ish. Yeah, 5-ish I would say. It's not horrible it's not bad it's not great it, it, it's it's an okay it's a good it's, just it's okay. good enough you yeah. know that's that's it for um, that one but again guys i don't know where you can find this bottle yeah if you happen i've to never go, seen it never heard of it yeah if you happen to go to the philippines mm -hmm. you know uh go, go to a place called snr and they have a whole bunch yeah. right there. this is a 2017 bottle this was brand neat mm -hmm. <laughs> and we came with the box we looked everything. on you know uh, the internet and stuff i tried to see you know what these bottles cost and mm -hmm. some of them were like 200 bucks yeah yeah. And some of them were thirty bucks, which is really weird. Yeah. You know? So so there's no like no in betweens. No. I think it comes down to: Are you a Jack Daniels mm -hmm. fan? Are you willing to shell out two hundred dollars yeah. for this kind of bottle? You know, yeah, it is I not personally a would not dollar bottle. Spend two hundred at most thirty bucks. Mm -hmm. Thirty yeah. bucks just to have an easy going sipper after you get off work. You just want to sit down. Uh, and relax. Regular old number seven. Mm -hmm. oh, 15, 15, 15 bucks. bucks. Yeah, I want to say. So you know? I mean, to say thirty bucks because it's a cool bottle okay in that sense yeah, and the flavor yeah the flavor alone like, but i, I would, can have this every day this yeah. is an everyday i wouldn't whiskey. want to pay more than 20 bucks for this yeah, yeah. fair that's fair that's fair yeah, enough because it, it's it's a light whiskey yeah um it's not like you know like ooh, wow correct yeah yeah, yeah. all right but well, yeah overall it's decently good decently good all right guys well thank you again for watching please like and subscribe i'm roman I'm Lou. peace out with right. bourbon beats <laughs> i right, take care later.